There's also a fourth pair of shorts that somewhere, I don't think they got delivered. Hmm. It's so hard to keep this room in any kind of organized manner while I'm drawing. I can't imagine. I mean, it's like I set up the fucking, we gotta do a podcast this week. Yeah, we can set it up today and we can do it. We can do it tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, the whole room. I still have to draw. Okay, so maybe, yeah, that won't work yet. How do we set up this whole room? I don't feel like we can have both of these computers together. I don't know where to put it. Can Cable run it to that other room downstairs and turn that into like the game? Because that room's really not used at all, right? Yeah. And then if you move that out, podcast slash art. There's cable that comes down from the ceiling, I think. You'd have, have to, to look at it or whatever. It's not a project I really want to yeah, yeah, we got too much other shit. Obviously, all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with. What? What? The camera? Yeah. Why yesterday was here it was so much further away? Now it's like uh, it moved. Probably. Stop. What are you doing? You're just going to jam it in this little hole over here? Get your fucking. <laughs> It, it looks fucking closer because you're right up in the screen. Oh. Yesterday you were sitting in your chair like a normal person. Oh man, today is fucked up. Yeah. Dude, I was so high last night playing fucking PUBG. I ate just the 50 mil. I, don't, I haven't been eating edibles like we used to at all. They rock me. 50, I, said, I thought I was having a heart attack for a second. I was like, yeah, my heart's beating really fast. But it wasn't. It felt my chest. Yeah. My heart was fine. But almost like a mini panic attack. But I ever have weed panic attacks. I can just, it's almost like a third entity inside my body or something that takes a step to the side and you're on a drug. You're fine. Chill the fuck. Like, relax. just talks yeah, to yourself. Yeah. Same thing with mushrooms. Like, I always can just talk myself out of whatever. God. I, last night, I had to be like, dude, what the fuck? I was like, this is crazy. And then I was playing PUBG and the wave went over me. I think I'm going to play this game, go to bed, y'all. So I don't, I'm tired. And then it disappeared. Yeah, and then I played a game where I made it to the top five, and I was all like, wide well, awake. I'm high as fuck, but I'm gonna keep playing, dog. I'm <laughs> so baked. Amar lives the best life, dude. Yeah, he does. He's out there, his whole belly's wet for being in the pool. On his back, sunbathing. <laughs> Do you know if these Scooby Snacks were uh, sativa or anything? I'll look it up. Scooby Snacks. I'm about to roll up that fucking joint of that shit, motherfucker. Uh, Better be a motherfucking hybrid. All right. Look at it, though. I'm good. Indica dominant. No. It's cookies no, no, no. and face off. No. OG. Look at it, though. Oh, yeah. Cookies and face off OG. Let's do it. Face off with the cookies. It should be called open face cookies. I like that. Open face Oreo, yeah, you know dude, what I'm saying? I used to eat open face sandwiches. You also apparently used to eat a lot of 7-Eleven taquitos, yes, as we learned I yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Ern has a secret. Yeah, I used to eat a he lot of He used to, on the way home from my house, stop by 7-Eleven and eat taquitos. No more, though. No more taquitos for you. Nope. Now? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I hate carrots. I, I just don't like, don't like them. I don't like eating like raw vegetable. I like cooked mm -hmm. vegetables. My roasted carrots. Roasted carrots are good if they're like roasted like french fries. Like they're crisp. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They gotta oh, no, I think I gotta roast you some carrots now, dog, so I can change your whole world up. They're done right. That's what I'm saying. I'm into them. But like most time people... You know, carrots... I don't know. My mom watches this, so I can't say that the carrots weren't good when I was a kid, but they were never like banging to the... Damn, place. mom! You ain't got Google? Food Network? Ern's mom. I'm gonna talk to you real quick. We just want to know what movies did he watch? What food? I wasn't did allowed he watch to watch a lot of movies. Apparently not. You haven't heard of shit. I was the youngest, so like anything that was like PG 13 or R was like a little shaky. Was they would rent Home Alone from Blockbuster. Your parents' family would come home. We got Blockbuster. Oh, yeah. And they're like, no, Ern, you don't get to watch it the family. You've got to go upstairs. <laughs> the Care Bear Adventure for you. Got your own VCR up there. A couple of snacks. And some water. We're all gonna be down here eating pizza and soda. Here's some apple slices and some carrots. No. You had such a fucking damaged childhood with me. I thought I was damaged by having my dad be a piece of shit, but God. Yeah, well. At least I got to watch RoboCop. I just remember my dad was in charge. RoboCop, it started coming on age. My mom kept being like, you're not watching that fucking movie. As soon as my mom left, dad's like, go ahead. Yes! All right, cool. Yeah. He was good about that. You know, also time about a man that would go gamble and leave me in the next room over for fucking nine hours. Figured out. It's so funny at that age, I didn't even know what was going on. Yeah, it's crazy when you think back when you didn't realize what was really going on around you. Growing up a fatty. Someone said yesterday on Twitter that I should tell everybody about all my tattoos for the dog. I'm saying they don't really have meaning. They all have stories because of yeah, that's the thing. When like, I got them or whatever, but I don't necessarily think. No, I don't, there's not a lot of them. Like, well, my grandmother said this, and I got this tattooed on me. I do have tattoos for my grandmother. They're really bad. Omar, get off of me, son. I'm trying to roll up a fatty, boy. Trying to roll up a fatty, dude. What you doing, Omar? Being hot and having fucking. 
pull water all over and so you can ruin every piece of clothing I have. Hey, go on. Get out from underneath me. Go. It'll be great, dude. I will interview people in my own spare time. You're not gonna be able to- From my booth, dude. What spare time? Excuse me, sir. Over Excuse here. me, I'm getting swamped. I'm the only person here. I think you're gonna be like a desert booth in the middle of an oasis here. I don't understand. I think it's like the biggest Comic Con in the world and you're just gonna be sitting there chilling. I think you're right. Yeah, I think I'm right too. Burgos was really scared for you. He was like, dude, he can't work that by himself. It's dudes that have that, I don't know, they come off kind of like dicks. I like, mean, he is kind of a dick. I come off like a dick. That's kind of what I'm but trying I'm to not say. Like that, though. I come off like a dick because of the way I talk. Sometimes I'll say shit that sounds way sharper than I mean it. Same way in the But sense. I don't have dick tensions. Tensions. Yeah, people who have dick and dick tensions like and tensions. dick tensions. Yeah. This shit is so good. Where the fuck is the... Okay. Dude, the most annoying thing about this place is the fan remotes. Oh, this is good weed because we're both just taking like one hit and passing and you're like, uh, okay, one hit and yeah. pass. What are you doing? Oh my god, today's crazy. I literally, I'm drawing all fucking day and trying to get some of this business shit done. We have a bunch of stuff ordered. <clears throat> Waiting on samples. I've got coloring to do. Dude, this drop is like getting pretty crazy because I'm trying to come out with something for each brand. I have a lot of work to kind of finish. Today's the 10th and I really want to have the lookbook to the friends and family by the 20th. So that gives me 10 days to make sure everything is finished, which is what we're... Do it. So a couple of things that I'm working on today other than the drop also are the prints of the Reaper. So the Reaper that I painted is going to make it onto a shirt. It's absolutely I've been working on it. People have been reaching out like crazy for prints of that design. So I'm going to turn the painting into a print. The original may be sold. It's a little difficult because you can't print in gold like gold leaf or by hand or I go and I paint each one by hand or we screen print them. So what I'm going to do is screen print the gold on. Well, I'm doing a test run, but screen printing the gold on, they'll be available after that. I'm doing a pretty limited amount. The first bit is going to friends and family, dibs. If there's anything left, it'll make it to the public, but it's a pretty limited print, so we'll have to see. I don't really, I honestly don't know. I can't make more, of course, but this first run is not huge. I'm also creating labels. The packaging is going to change for everything that we're doing. I literally changed all the packaging, changing everything up. Like I want to do everything my way. And I also have to redesign labels. So I'm going to do labels for the insides of the shirts that are different. We're doing a different sticker label. I also am working on a matcha. I've been in contact with a couple of matcha companies. I've gotten samples. I finally kind of like narrowed it down. And I'm basically going to collaborate with this small farm and make do my own matcha. Because people ask me every day where I get matcha using the source to kind of just bring it on and even come in cheaper than the other people. I'm I'm stoked. It's cool. It's a cool thing. It's a vibe. I don't know if I'll do matcha forever, but I'm definitely doing a run. I have just a ton of design work to do. It's like really like what my life is for this next little bit, honestly. And I, that's why I don't know if I'm going to go to California. I'll miss Earn, but I could use a week here to just work because there's a lot of work to be done. I'm happy. I, in no way am I complaining about this. This is all exciting as fuck to me. The last Last couple of weeks have been kind of all over the place with shit. It's been a little stressful, you know, splitting with Sager and everything trying to like even out. I compare it to when you dump water into a bucket and it splashes around for a while. It's been splashing around for a while before it really like gets still. Hopefully we're moving to where it stills out a little bit, even though that means less excitement as far as me running around town and going to do shit and I might not get to go to San Diego, but part of the vlog is reality and the reality is, is I have a lot of fucking work to do. So the other reality is my dog is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Do you want to go back outside, Omar? Do you want to go back outside in the heat? Oh, look at that stretch. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh, I also got circle templates, which are very, very clutch for everything I do in my life. Circles, you always need circles. fucking thing. Omar, get it. <laughs> get it. Uh. 
All right, let me get back to work. So the BYW Pharrell's, the black ones just went live on a pre-order on adidas.com. They don't have a 13 for whatever reason. I gotta come here and grab my 13. They have a 12. Uh, the pre-order apparently wasn't even supposed to go live until night, but I'm gonna try these on real quick and see if I could wear a 12 or if I think I can. I don't think I can. My homie says a 13 is gonna come out. I need to check real quick. I just wanna see. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's room in the toe for sure, but no, hell no. There's no way with the wideness of my foot that I'd be able to wear this. actually look pretty good with this. I'm just gonna wear these. Change up. 12 and a half, maybe. I don't see it. Someone just said 12 and a half stock. Stop. Let me go look on the computer. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably someone's cart cleared and then it fucking uncleared because they're not, they're not here. But this is, yeah. Strange, strange, strange. Adidas is doing a lot of strange things. I think there might be some turmoil. Turmoil. Internal turmoil. In turmoil. Got some in turmoil going on. Um, yeah. I'm gonna probably stop doing this now so I can get back to work. Whatever. I'll get them. Just check back later. I'm sure it'll be a full restart. This actually makes it easier because the regular drop on Adidas on the 8th will probably not be that crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, this is July 13th and this is the 23rd. Who fucking knows, man? This shit's all over the place. <laughs> fucking any idea. I'm going back to work. Um, 20 minutes later now, and now the 12 and a half is back. So normally I would buy these right now. The homie Steven, my uh, Korean barbecue tour guide from Houston, copped them for me because he knew that I was trying to get them. So he went and copped them for me. So 12 and a half is on the way. That's the drama. There's the saga of the shoe. I'm sure a 13 is still probably going to load later, but I do think I can probably get away with 12 and a half. If not, you know what? Adidas does free returns. Supposedly there's only 1,500 of the pink ones. First off, there's a coupon code to get $50 off. I just tweeted that coupon code. Uh, the coupon code is O S H S 17 A D P, all caps. <laughs> Sticks in your ears. First test print came back. Just screen print this again. So it's pretty good. Just gotta do a little color correction. Gold is the hardest thing to nail, really, and that's probably not gonna match perfectly. And that's just the difference between buying an original painting and a copy. All right, so I've been kind of trying hiding the drawings from you guys because I don't want to just leak everything as I'm working on it. A lot of people ask me why I don't live stream when I draw. It's because usually I'm working out ideas. Like I'm kind of a maniac, you know, like I sit down, I look at stuff, I freak out, I walk around, I get distracted, I get an idea, a sketch. Sometimes a sketch is super loose for like a week and then something comes to me. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I have to hop up, run up here and like write something down. Like Making shit for me is all about being open to the signals. I don't know where my ideas come from. I just receive the signals wherever. Cosmos. The thing that I'm doing for this next drop, uh, it's not going to be a full pack in this next drop. Another AI, but it's sort of a bionic AI drop. I basically am taking power animals. Power animals like a dragon, a panther, a tiger, a bear, like power animals, uh, and making them artificial intelligent, cyborging them out and making them part robotic. Play on it is an animal instinct pack. And at first, I'm just going to drop this first design. Yeah, this is just kind of the idea. This is what I'm working on. This is what I'm going to color. I may have even leaked this already a little bit. Animal instincts. Kind of work these out. Little scratches. I think it's dope. Into it. At first, it'll just be the one T to introduce it. And then future drops, we'll do the whole pack. Just to give you a little inside scoop on what's going down. What I'm doing over here. Sit out 
for 30 minutes because we want it to be room temperature. We want it to be the same temperature all the way through. the steak that has been sitting out for quite a while. Nice little metal pan. We're gonna put this in the rack. In the Last iron, skillet. Hi. That stays in the oven another 10. This bad boy gets super, super hot. I'll just leave it on high for 10 minutes. We're gonna transfer it. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes of that on each side. So that's a pretty thick steak. 30 seconds on the very sides. And then I let it sit for at least seven to 10 minutes. A lot of fucking smoke. All right, now we're gonna flip it. All right, a lot of smoke. We got a lot of smoke. Uh, and then I cover it with foil for about seven to 10 minutes. Start editing, it's late, it's almost five o'clock. I'm gonna eat, start editing, do all that jazz. Let's finish working on some drawing stuff. Yeah, the work never stops this week, just keep going. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As far as shoes go, obviously I got those Pharrell's today. Uh, by the way, people who were trying to resell them for thousands of dollars, it was a pre-order. Calm the fuck down, it's a pre-order. Not only is it a pre-order, it's a pre-order that still has a release date on the 13th. So, you're being ridiculous. Anyway, uh, I did, I I have a pair of the 500 black, whatever they're called, pirate black, bull black, utility black. Uh, I do have a pair of those on the way. A lot of people are asking me about what I think about everyone saying that Yeezys are dead, what have you, what not. I don't agree. I think the butter is one of the best colors. I think that Yeezy as a line is just expanding, as I've explained before. They're just expanding their shit because it makes sense to have, you don't make money selling out of things every day time they release uh but yeah i don't think it's dead i don't think that they need to move on to a v3 necessarily like right away either i find to let this marinade finally get in different colors not like searching for something new all the time I'm cool that i'm cool with this frequency last year's frequency was insane so i really you know, i don't really get it 500s are not as comfortable as uh a 350 so they're different comfort upper comfort is nice but they're not the same but anyway i got the black i have another pair of butters coming as i said i think that's pretty much it i have thought about ordering a couple more pairs of stlts but i haven't yet that's pretty much it for shoes and stuff i have coming in i think uh that's the day i'll see you later all right peace Got a little more pink or a little more cooked than I usually cook it, but we have steak to eat. Yum. You're not getting any. You're getting that.